What's up everyone? Sitting on the bench we have both my Tiny Hawk 2 and my Tiny Hawk S. So I've been racing both of these quads over the winter season. I have been very pleased with their performance. If you'd like to see my review on Tiny Hawk 2, I'll put the link in the description below. You can check it out. So I've had a lot of requests since I made that review video asking questions about my current rates and settings. So I thought I'd make a video to share them with everyone. I just want to say thank you for watching this video and if you enjoy what you see, so show some support by hitting that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified when I make new videos because we're going to be doing a lot more videos of content like this this year here in 2020. Alright, here we have my Tiny Hawk 2 that I just plugged up to the PC. Right off the bat, I do want to say that you can pause this video at any time to get a better look at the settings. Also, keep in mind that I'm using the exact same settings that I'm using on my Hawk 2 on my Hawk S. And they're both running Betaflight 4.1 with the Jazz Maverick 24K ESC firmware and RPM filtering. So before we get into the actual settings, let's talk about installing the Jazz Maverick ESC firmware. So there's going to be a little link in the description that you can click, which will take you to the page that you need to download the firmware. First, we have to start by going to BL Heli. Here, you have to check the current firmware version that is installed on your ESC. Pay attention to the numbers and the letters right here, as we will have to find the matching firmware file to download from the link below. After clicking on this link, you're going to find the file that matches your current ESC firmware, which is found in your BL Heli screen. You're going to right-click the link and save it to a destination of your choosing. Then we will go back into BL Heli, select Flash Firmware, choose File Manually, and then you're going to select that file that you saved from your PC. It will then upload the firmware to your ESC. After that, you can go over to Betaflight. But first, you must make sure that we have Betaflight 4.1 installed on your quad. If you have the Tiny Hawk 2, it already comes with that version installed. But if you're using the Hawk S, you will need to update and install this firmware. There are plenty of videos online where you can see how to install the firmware. So just go check that out. After making sure you have the correct firmware version, let's go into the configuration page of Betaflight since we are running the RPM filtering. We need to make sure that we have the slider enabled for bi-directional D-Shot. We also need to make sure that your ESC protocol is set to D-Shot 300 and your pit and gyro frequencies are set to 4K 4K. Another important thing in this menu is to make sure that we set the correct values for the motor magnets in the bell and we also change the prop direction to reversed. The reason we want our prop direction reverse is because it really helps with washout in hard turns, which these little quads tend to suffer from on occasion. Just remember to go back to VIA Heli and change your motor direction if you haven't already. Once we have that set up, let's go over to the PID tuning tab and take a look at our PIDs. If you are wanting to give this tune a try, you can copy and paste your PIDs into your setup, but be aware that you are doing this at your own risk. If we take a look over to our right, you will see that I have absolute control enabled and the value set to 20. This is going to give a little bit of extra control to your quad. One thing that we're going to also want to make sure is that we have I turn relaxed enabled and set to RP. We also want to make sure that the value is around 10 to 11 to avoid I turn wind up. I'll let you take a quick look at my rates and then we're going to move over to my filter screen. On the filter section, I followed the Joshua Barwell video for RPM filter setup. If you have watched that video and are familiar with it, you will notice one difference. I have the gyro RPM filter harmonics number set to 3 instead of 1. This is because the trade-off in latency is minimal while providing the best overall filtering. As you can see, I have set the rest of the numbers for the filters right here. That does it for my quad setup. I just want to let you know that I'm running the RDQ 450 Ma 1S batteries, so let's get out and rip. 